click on the tab System Tools. Next, click for instance on the Windows Tools button to open the pull down menu. Let's inspect the group policies on this system. Select group policies to open them and just with one click you have complete access to all the different settings of the group policy. You can change and inspect them and of course save them for later use. Try another one, for instance the services currently running on your system. With one click you open the services panel and you inspect all the services ready and running on your system. Close it again and one final, for instance the firewall. Open your firewall, inspect the settings, change them if you want them and you can then of course save them again. Another one are the control panels and all the applets ready available just from your pull down menu within folder viewer. For instance the screen saver we have one um, we had in text made to Matisoft and this is how it looks on your screen. That's neat isn't it? Let's close it again. Another one is the ODBC manager. You click on it to inspect all the settings of the currently installed ODBC drivers on your system. You can clean your drives, select the drive and click OK to clean the drive. Open the DOS prompt and uh, execute some program like the tree command and exit again to folder view. Another nice one is to open the PowerShell embedded environment. A lot, of, a lot of users are aware of this uh, neat program. It's a very advanced way to experiment with the Windows PowerShell and all the functions and commands are listed. When you click on it you get a lot of extra information. You can show the details and you can experiment, save them and it's really a very complex but very advanced tool and very handy and you can run the command just with one click. You can also uh, open it with pre by pressing uh, Ctrl F11. Diagrix also a neat tool to inspect all your uh, assistant programs for your Diagrix drivers. Have a lot of information about your system, the parts installed and your software environment. You can run a program with just one click the same like clicking this button to execute a program. You can have direct access to um, some monitor functions like the, your resources, your reliability and your performance. Let's choose resources and you will see the, your network, your hard drive, your memory, your processor and a nice overview of them all. You have the task manager available all the running, currently running tasks, like for instance folder viewer, performances, the app history, what's running currently, and users, the details, and all the services. Very advanced and neat tool, task. You can uh, have a look at your user and groups, but because it's a public video, I won't show them on the screen. You have your account management tool here. You can have insight in your username and passwords and again I won't show you on screen. You can back up your passwords for if you probably have a crash or you forgot your password then you can uh, yeah, make a backup on the a USB stick for later use to restore them. And the help functionality just clicking in will show this video again. Okay, that wraps this video up. Thanks 